I'm just gonna zoom really close in on you. Because you know, I put so much makeup on today, I'm ready for this. So did I. I'm not. So did I. <laughs> you look like you could use a little foundation yeah, blush. It <laughs> not me. I look just like a highly desirable albino hog nose. <laughs> <laughs> the blotchy ones. <laughs> yeah, we match. That's perfect. Perfect match. Okay, so we are here at SoCal Herbs. These guys just have a really, I don't know, unique collection of animals, I think is what's cool. Like, so one of the things I really like about what you guys do is the directions that you take with everything. It's, it's very different from what other people do. I mean, you and I were talking about wanting to get wild caught stuff and breeding in and just your eye as we look through like, oh, see this like little difference in pattern or right. this male seems to throw this or that. I wonder how far I can take that. But he's got red toes. His tail actually will look red too at times. He has, it seems like he has wider red around the eyes even. Mm -hmm. No? He's, well, he's maintained the orange on his chin, which typically they will kind of lose that as they get older. I looked too close. Point. Now I want one. <laughs> I like how they talk to you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks for peeing on me, bro. That's pretty cool. And that stuff to me is just awesome. Rather than just trying to say, okay, this is incomplete dominant. This is recessive. If I get this head that, I put them together and make a new combo. It's more like, look at this bloodline or what this particular animal does. Right, yeah. That's why I like doing it, but then it's anyone can make an albino, anyone can make a condomorph, but if you can dive deeper into that gene, maybe make a condomorph that has a pattern that's bold going all the way down, or maybe having an albino that looks like it's looks like a tiger. I mean that stands out and that's kinda unique. It's funny, everything with Matt that I end up talking about, I'll say something like, oh something red eye crocodile skinks, and he's like, oh. That's the other thing that we work with, you know? And it's just <laughs> randomly, whatever I say I like, he happens to have there. <laughs> yeah, so, that was funny because you saw my shirt and had the, the crocodile skink on it. And you're like, like, oh, you work with Tribs? I'm like, been working with them for 16 years. Where have you been? 16 years. That's crazy with the crocodile skinks. And that's kind of what you were saying you were getting into too, at least in the YouTube videos. So are, you guys are South SoCal Herbs on, uh, YouTube, on as well, YouTube as well, right? Yeah. And I just love all like the little setup videos that you guys do and stuff because that's, I mean, that's an animal that I've kept unsuccessfully in the past as well. And we hear that a lot. That group just does well not being able to see out. They're able to see through their cage. They stop eating. Even though they have, what, five, six hides in there, the it, it's not enough. They come out to, to soak in the water and they feel exposed. Mm -hmm. huh. That's interesting. Well, I'm sure that's what I was doing wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> Making it fly a little they dragon. Look like Eat your worm. Eat your worm. Yeah, exactly. So if I want to do tribs again, what I need to do is get like a, an eight foot long, <laughs> plant, fully planted, semi aquatic. Yeah, I love it. Uh, Viv, and then uh, and then put two of them in there. And you'll see them all the time because we'll have enough hiding spaces that they'll be out much more often. Well, yeah, so, I mean, that was the biggest thing that, that drew me to these guys. And you and me have talked quite a bit since we met at Pomona the last year about all kinds of random life things. They have a pair of super dwarfs. Yeah. So she's got to come out this way, right? Yeah. Hi, honey. Oh, she's beautiful. Partho babies are always the coolest. That's what she does. And how old is she? Four. Fingers crossed, expecting a first clutch. Yeah. You've never bred retics, have you? I've never bred retics, <laughs> and that's why I'm relying on the retic master right here. <laughs> the yeah, I don't know about retic master, master yeah. but maybe super dwarfs. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. But uh, yeah, that, I mean, that would be a, a thing to do is pure Calatoa is for your first clutch. That would be pretty slick. So. Yeah, so we've been talking about all that kind of stuff, and uh, I don't know, Matt and I have just very different collections, and everything about us is different, lifestyle, all that kind of stuff, but then yeah. when we talk, it's like we're on the same page with everything, it's which like I just think is, is awesome. Yeah, I just think yeah. that's so cool, is that there's, you know, 
I don't know, I just see it as like, there's so many different ways to live life well. What would you say are like, some of the, the biggest things that have shaped your life and pursuit of, of keeping these different exotic animals? For you, you've learned that losing animals just doesn't get easier. It doesn't. And, it's, and you have to kind of try to prepare yourself, but... I try to prepare, and then I also try to remember the, the, the good moments of that animal's life, what it brought to me. Like, example, I lost my first super anaconda hognose. I remember that baby. First one that you produced. First one that I produced. Yeah. Hashed her out. Hashed her out. <laughs> she was a pain in the butt. For the first eight months. For the first of her eight life. months of her life. <laughs> Would not eat. I had to find every single scent, and it took me forever to find that one scent that she liked. And ever since then, she was a great animal. She just, she taught me being persistent. And patient. And patient. That you know, life, you no, know, isn't easy. It's not like I can't just take a frozen thaw pinky and drop in her tub and she's gonna eat and grow big and be healthy and strongly you know it's it's a struggle yeah life is a struggle it's and you tend to form those connections deepest with the ones that require the most time from you don't you yeah i know i do so she she was a she was a pain in the butt <laughs> but she also produced some fabulous animals that i've kept back and her legacy still continues to, to live on here so this is this is just one thing. I know you guys on my channel hear me harping about this all the time. Let's say you want a hognose snake. You know, you're gonna go buy an albino hognose snake. You could go probably find one at Petco these days. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean they're you know they're they're all over. You can go to any reptile show and you're gonna see multiple vendors with them and stuff. But why wouldn't you want to have the relationship with somebody? who had the relationship with not only your animals, but right. really somebody that is like, hey, you know, this, these animals have been a part of who I am. And it's exciting for you, as I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is, it is for me, to like share that with other people. And the best customers are the ones that are like, man, I love this thing, I was spending time with them today, and I just noticed the way it looks around the room and observes things, and this and that, and you know, and you and you get those uh, those texts of them, how they're doing, yeah. like, oh, look at the goofy thing eating its mouse backwards today. Oh, yeah. You know? that's the, I mean, that stuff's the best. Anytime anyone buys an, a reptile from us, I always ask them, we're on Instagram, like, share photos of them. Yeah. We love watching our babies grow up. I mean, if it was me, I would love to keep all of them and watch them all grow up, but I want to share that joy with other people. Yeah. And to be honest, it hurts when I send a crocodile skin away. Yeah. Like, you know how long it took you 90 days or 100 days to come out of that egg? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Checking exactly. you every yeah. single day. Feeding you every single day, listening you chirp, yep. listening you bite my finger. <laughs> so again, guys, just like find a breeder that's passionate about the animals that you're interested in. If I was going to have five different snakes of five different species, I would want each one of them to come from whoever w was breeding that species that loved them the most. I produced 300 baby hognose. I can tell you the personality of every single one of those babies. Yeah. Preferences. Their breeding preferences. Their yeah. like, um, you know, she loves making these enclosures for, for people. I think we were just at Pomona. Mm -hmm. You spend an hour with somebody talking about a, a tank that she she built and all bioactive has been running for a year and just the, the passion that she has for, for that. Now she's giving it to somebody else whose reptile is going to benefit from this huh. live planted enclosure that I'm, is pretty cool. And that that's where our passion lies. I mean, we're going to be working with all the different morphs and trying to refine them and get the little nuances of these crocodile skinks, you know, getting some colors involved with them. We want to try to establish them in captivity. And we want to establish them in captivity. It's So what, what are some of the things that you're working with with the red eye? I mean, because there's no more. There's no more. We have a few that are, are line red for higher spikes. We have a few that are, are lightish in color and a few that are pretty, like some red tone. I mean, those are things that we're working on. and. Just working on an overall strong uh, captive bred quality. The thing about when people buy, like, they can buy a crocodile skin for me and pay double what they would pay for a wild caught one. But that wild caught one is going to be a little a lot harder to take care of. Yeah. And if you think about it, they go out and they buy that wild caught one and it dies, you lose, start to lose that passion for that reptile. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, for, for me, I 
I got my first captive bred one, or wild caught one from my professor in high school. He gave me a crocodile skin because I was taking care of the reptiles in high school. We had a gator, we had snakes, finches, we had iguanas, yeah. and he gave that to me for, for helping him take care of these animals. And I went online and I bought, you know, a female from some online store. It came in and it died. Oh, man. I went out and bought another one. It came in and it died. And for me, like, this is, like, maybe these wild caught ones, it just isn't, like, I, I can't take care of them. This is hard. Yeah. But I didn't give up. I tried to, you know, working with Kendall and I is, we've tried to figure out what these animals needed. And a lot of these wild caught ones do die, and I, I don't like seeing other people's passion for them die. That's if they can get a captive bred one that, you know, can strive and live strong with them. And give them that rewarding. And give them that rewarding feeling. And then maybe they'll be like, hey, I want to also want to work with these guys. Yeah. And by all of us working together, maybe we can find that rare, elusive albino. Oh, God. <laughs> you know. There you go. I have a question. So he's talking about his high school science class, and you mentioned iguanas. Did you guys know each other in high school? No. No. Oh. I've, I've told her all the stories. <laughs> But only when I got down to California and my eyes were open to the exotics world <laughs> yeah. is when I got into birds and then I met him and he taught me everything I knew originally about reptiles and we kind of grew that way. Now yeah, she knows more than me. There you go. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for a lightning round? Fire away. Go. All right. Just for you. Twelve. No. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're halfway through already. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee, always. Okay, dogs or cats? Dogs. I don't care. I'm an animal lover. Don't care. <laughs> like them both. Both. The last book you read? I am working on a um, mythology book going through the ancient Greek mythology kind of huh. stuff. Just interesting, light reading. Yeah. That is interesting. He I don't read books. <laughs> yeah. I read one, and that was a, that Wolverine book. Okay, did you read that's all a of comic it? book? No. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> but I did read X Men. <laughs> no, it was that uh, whatever that book was about a Wolverine in Montana. Oh, that's okay. right. Uh, Wolverine Way. Wolverine Way. There you go. It was, okay. It was a, the animal of Wolverine, not the. Particular. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite genetic mutation of all time. Honestly, you can't be normal. Normal I, anything. I just, I love the normal wild type mutations of almost any species. I just, there's a reason they're like that. Mother Nature made them that way. I love them. I was saying the Sorry. normal hog. Sorry, normal hog nose too. <laughs> oh, come on. Her answer was better. You had something else in mind, and then she said that, and you jumped on shit. <laughs> Admit it. All right. Toxic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very cool. And a toxic is, I learned this already. It is Annery and Toffee. Annery, Toffee, Hog Nose. Yeah. Okay, pet peeve. <laughs> that sounds like a good one. What? Nothing. Did you think of one for her? <laughs> I did. Oh, you're not allowed to do oh, that. No, not, not one for her. No, one for me. Oh, oh, here we go. I like the floor clean. Yes, he does. The floor clean? He doesn't yeah. like it when I make messes. No. Oh, you mean like stuff on the floor? I have to make messes when he's not home and hopefully get and to not, make And not rearrange the house. You're yeah. not coming to my snake room. No. And we can't. clean like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like her. Except it's more like... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and the house cannot be rearranged. He does not like change. No. <laughs> wow, yeah, you're not allowed to work with me. Nope. <laughs> dream job. I'm working at my dream job right now. I Which can't is? stay there forever, but uh, I work at a bird store, an exotic parrot store, and I work with baby birds every day. And Being a deep sea fisherman. Okay, there you go. That's kind of like my son. He wants to be a fish petter. I, I saw that. <laughs> I was, oh god, that was so cute. <laughs> a surprising skill that you have that we may not know about. I'm a computer geek. Are you? Yes. What can you do with the Like, I, I like I can music, build them. I can't produce it. I can build them. I can hack into certain you things. Hack some things. I've yeah. hacked some things. <laughs> okay. Ah, I did not know that much. Let's keep that down. Keep that. There. <laughs> Just keep that there. Huh? Just keep that there. Don't dig up your jail time task. <laughs> or... It was easy stuff to hack. <laughs> All right. How about you guys are a cute couple? How about your best advice for a young couple? 
I don't know. We've, we've learned so much about like what each other's likes and you know just. You gotta you gotta talk about the hard things that you don't want to talk about. Yeah. Like it's not just communicating how I mean. was your day. It's it's everything else that you wouldn't say to anyone else. Things that you that you would like changed or things that you would that they want to do. Okay, we're getting like PG thirteen now. So we're move on to the next one. I like not, it not though. Not that. Not that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> all right. We all are secrets. <laughs> How about the most unique place that you guys have visited? We're planning to go to the Galapagos, so that will be added that's to your list. Yeah. That's cool. When's that happening? We were hoping for this year. It's not going to work out. So hopefully next year. Oh, Ten year anniversary gift. Wow. Yeah. You guys are tracking with us. We were thinking Indonesia. But that's gonna have to be that's, one too. That's gonna be one of them. Oh, that's a good one. If I gave you guys a hundred thousand dollars right now, what would you do with it? Buy a house so I can have more animals. <laughs> <laughs> Buy an animal house. <laughs> it's very hard for me to take money given and not have to give it back to something yeah, else. Yeah. <laughs> well, buying a house for animals kind of counts. Well, <laughs> I mean that to me, even that kind of seems selfish in a way. <laughs> um, I would have to. I would like to to be used for for something else like cancer research. Or oh, okay. I, I know that sounds Make cliche. Make the world a better place. But maybe know. also something for people who suffer from like from depression or anxiety. Which is close to your heart. Which is close to me. I I go through spurts of that. What is your biggest unachieved life goal? You've got everything you could ever want. You're fine. That is true. I do have everything I I want. I mean, I have a home, I'm able to provide for my family. Yeah. You saw my office in there, I just turned my chair counterclockwise once and <laughs> I can look at the crocodile skinks coming out and waiting for more food and I have little hognose worms trying to bite me at every moment because <laughs> they want more food. So your life is complete until you produce super dwarfs yes. and get addicted to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's indeed. Which is where the new house would come in. Yeah, there we go. A super dwarf house. See how we just kind of like mingle that two, two like life it. goals together? Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty good. You guys make a good couple. And we, like didn't even, we didn't even talk about that. Right? It, just it might seemed. have to be a subject of open communication yeah. for the future. Yeah. The super dwarf house. <laughs> you could do a tiny house. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got. You guys got any questions for me? We can get a shirt. <laughs> Shirts are $10, <laughs> shipping is 7 Just shoot me an email, Garrett at Reach Out Reptiles, anytime. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so thank much. I so really much. appreciate you having me at home. <laughs>